Hi there everybody, it's Chef Martin from the Thermoworks Demo Kitchen and today we want to talk about Thermopen 1. Thermopen 1 is the premier thermometer for personal or industry use. And we've had many people, including top rated chefs and barbecue champions, tell us that buying a Thermopen 1 has literally changed their lives. Today we want to talk about some of the features, some of the care and how to use the Thermopen. It's a high performance, intuitively designed instrument that will change the way you cook. Let's take a look. There are three things that make the Thermopen such an amazing tool. Speed, accuracy, and durability. Let's talk about speed first. Other products claim to give you one second readings because their thermometer updates the temperature every second. That's not the Thermopen 1. Thermopen 1 gives you a full reading in one second. That is to say, it tells you the temperature of your food all the way in one second. Here we have an ice bath set up and you can see you put it in there and you're down to temperature in no time at all. Of course, getting one second readings doesn't matter very much if those readings aren't accurate. And that's another place where Thermopen 1 really shines. This thermometer is accurate to 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is an unheard of accuracy spec for consumer products or even industry products. And with that kind of accuracy, you can get up to the second real information about how your food is cooking and make on the fly decisions about it. And it's so great that you get all of this speed and all of this accuracy in a really durable package. Thermopen 1 is super durable. It's built like a tank. It has reinforced plastic supports inside for the housing. It's got stronger bushings where the screws go in. It's got molded in seals that actually make it waterproof. You can get it wet, you can drop it in the sink. It doesn't matter, it's just fine. That's why we're able to offer a five year warranty on this thermometer, although it will last much longer than that. We've engineered Thermopen 1 with features that are so easy to use and so intuitive, they practically disappear. This tool becomes an extension of you as you cook, not a gadget that you have to manage. You may notice right off the bat, there are no buttons on Thermopen 1. You just swing it open and it turns on. It has an auto rotating display, so you can use it from any angle including left-handed, and it's easy to read no matter what. It has an auto-sensing backlight that will turn on in the dark so you can use it at night. It has an auto-sleep function to save battery life. If you leave it still for 30 seconds, it automatically shuts off, and as soon as you touch it or grab it to pick it up again, it turns right back on, so you're ready to go without having to close it and open it again. The battery life on Thermopen 1 is 2,000 hours. There's really nothing else in the world quite like a Thermopen 1. You really have to try it to understand. So let's talk about how to use it. We're gonna focus here on food, but the principles that we're gonna talk about apply to anything you're taking the temperature of. The first thing you need to know is how it's actually taking the temperature. There's a temperature sensor right here in the very tip of the probe and that's a thermocouple sensor. It's very tiny, and that's, uh, that's where it's taking the temperature, is just in that little bit right there. So it's not taking the temperature along the whole length. What you need to do to find the temperature of your food is get that tip into the coldest part of your food. Food is only as done as its least cooked part. So you're gonna be looking for your lowest temperature. So if this is, let's say, a steak, I'm going to take my thermometer, we're going to insert it through the steak almost all the way and pull it up slowly looking for the lowest temperature on my screen. And that's the temperature that we're looking for. It doesn't start at zero because as soon as you open it, it starts taking the temperature of the room immediately. So it's always going to be taking an ambient temperature, so it's not going to start at zero. It doesn't have a hold button because we don't want a hold button. You don't want to stick it into the meat and find a temperature that you like and click hold on it, you want to know what the actual temperatures of the meat are as you move through, or the bread, or the cake, or whatever it is you're cooking. Um, we're looking for that lowest temperature. That also explains why it can appear that your thermopen temperature is jumping around a lot. As you move through food, you might go from a hot zone to a cooler and cooler and cooler zone and then a warmer and warmer and warmer zone as you move through the food. So that number is going to change as you take the temperature. Let's take a look at how to change the battery on your Thermopen. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew the single screw on the back of your Thermopen. Move the cover, 
take out the single AAA battery and replace it with a new single AAA battery. Before we put this cover back on, let's take a look at these two buttons. These allow you to change the settings of your thermopen. M is the menu button. It allows you to cycle through the different settings to change. S allows you to change the settings while you're in that uh, particular setting. So if we turn this over and I hit the M button, I see C or F for Celsius or Fahrenheit. I can see I'm in Fahrenheit. I press S, I move to Celsius. Press S again, move back to Fahrenheit. Now I can move to the next setting. This allows me to choose between decimal readings or whole degree readings. The accuracy of the thermopen is still the same. You're just getting a different resolution on it. Press it again and you have your display rotation, 360 degrees as we talked about before, 180 degrees of rotation, just one way or the other, or you can lock it at a certain orientation. Press M again. We move to the sleep timer. Right now this thermopen is set to fall asleep after 30 seconds of non-use. I press S. I can go all the way up to 180 seconds or I can turn the auto sleep function off completely. I'll go back up to 30. And those are the options you have. Now we can go ahead, put the cover back on our case, insert it like this and use your screwdriver to tighten the screw back down. To get the best use out of your thermopen, it needs to be cleaned and cared for properly. After every use, after every temperature measurement even, you should clean the probe. You can use a hot soapy rag for that, or you can use probe wipes, clean it off. It's especially important to do this after you have tempted something that can contaminate other foods. To clean the body of the thermopen, again, a clean soapy wet rag will do. You can even rinse it off in water. It is IP67 waterproof rated, and that means that it's well waterproof. Just don't wiggle the hub while it's underwater. Water can get in that way. One place to pay particular attention to is this little crease where the probe is seated. You get in there with a, a folded corner of a probe wipe, or even a towel if you can get that in there. You wanna clean that out to make sure that no food accumulates in that little crease. And your thermopen will last you for years and years of great service if you take care of it properly. As you can see, Thermopen One really is an amazing instrument. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you understand better how to use this tool to make your cooking and your food better. Until next time, thank you for watching and happy cooking from Thermoworks.